event, the Albedo's painting of Kurunushi will also be unveiled. Let's take a stroll through the festival venue. Maybe we'll find everyone there. Wait a minute, he's gonna paint a scam. What's... But that was a flashback. How is he gonna do him? I don't see everyone. Okay, I'll be Hello, traveler. Paimon? Albedo? Why is the portrait of Kurunushi all covered up? Paimon wants to see what your Kurunushi portrait looks like. Don't worry. The unveiling ceremony will be starting shortly. You'll see what it looks like then. I will say that I'm most satisfied with this particular work. I even made a special trip to see someone in order to complete it. They gave me some very valuable suggestions. Okay, let me check the neck. Okay, he's the good albedo. So, how do you, in the world do you meet up with Scamots? The fact that you actually, you actually meet him in this short time. <laughs> is that so? Anyway, there is still time before the ceremony. You may have a look around the venue first. Well, hello everyone. Hey! What are you two doing together? Don't think we didn't see you two chatting up a storm just now. The moment we came over, you stopped talking! Hmm, is that so? I'm afraid you're just overthinking things. We were merely discussing wine and food. <laughs> I'm sure you two wouldn't be interested. <clears throat> Speaking of good sides with sake, I personally prefer fried tofu. Ugh, forget it. Even if those two are plotting something, they'd still never let us know. Traveler, Paimon, it's a pleasure to see you. Indeed it did. Thanks to you, the signing event went off without a hitch. And I must say, the reader seemed most satisfied. Uh, Shinto, is that just Paimon, or are you on the lookout for something? You aren't mistaken, though I'm ashamed to admit it. But in fact, I have been on the watch for tourists from Liyue. After all, I came to Inazuma under the pretext of evaluating a potential investment. If an acquaintance were to see me sitting here, then there would be no way to hide the truth from my father. Fortunately, the crowds of readers that came flocking over have kept the usual tourists at bay. Oh, I should mention, Shu is also unaware of the real purpose of my trip. If you happen to meet him, please, remember to keep it a secret. Then, please accept my thanks in advance. I'm sorry that I can't chat long. There are still readers waiting in line. I'll see you later at the unveiling ceremony for Kuronushi's portrait. Ah, greetings, traveler. Paimon. Oh, Ayato! We finally get to see the busiest person of all! Yes, there were many things which required my attention these past few days. Fortunately, the Iridori Festival is proceeding smoothly. The Tri Commission cooperated closely to prepare this festival, so at long last, I can take a break today. Brother and I are very grateful for your help. Hmm. Toma sure is taking his sweet time. Yes. Today is one of the rare occasions when Brother isn't busy. I was going to buy some books, but he said he wanted to come along. His treat. However, he forgot his wallet at home, so he asked Toma to go back and fetch it for him. Paimon didn't think Ayato could ever be forgetful like that. <laughs> Brother always works diligently, and it's rare for him to ever put his duties to the side and relax. So, Toma and I really cherish such moments when he's forgetful. Kazuo, what are you doing here? Why aren't you at the festival? 
I came here to take in the sea breeze. Such a bustling atmosphere is never really to my liking. <laughs> I knew you were still worried about me. Thank you, but please, don't worry. The things I said in front of everyone weren't just pretty-sounding excuses. Look, see this familiar harbor in front of us? Before, you could sit here all day without seeing a single ship pass through. Instead, all you would see were soldiers from the Kanjo Commission, guarding against possible intruders. But now, it's become a bustling place. Not only are foreigners coming to Inazuma again, but traffic between here and Watatsumi Island has also been picking up. Yeah! Inazuma has already started to change, huh? I was thinking... In some ways, each and every one of us are similar to this country. It might take a different amount of time for different people, but there will inevitably come a day when each person can let go of their burdens. And when they finally let go, they are free to follow the wind as they please. It's time for the portraits and veiling ceremony. Let's head over to the Five Cossum Plaza. Everyone, welcome to the magnificent Iridori Festival. Today, we have ushered in the final stage of our festival. And now we will reveal the final portrait of the Five Kasen, Kuronushi, which was done by none other than our guest artist from Mondstadt, Calx. Hyman has no idea what Albedo's portrait looks like. Oh, this is so nerve-wracking. Let's all count down together. Three... Two, one! <laughs> huh? What's this? This piece depicts nothing but a background! I suppose Calx must have forgotten to include the character. How? <clears throat> Wait, how? Uh, let's hear some words from Calx himself regarding the creative process behind this piece. Hello, everyone. First, I would like to say that it was an honor to be invited to create the portraits of the Five Kasen. The Five Kasen are legendary figures from ancient Inazuma, famous for their works of poetry. As time passed, poems were composed about them, and they became the subjects of many stories. I learned from existing sources about those stories that the character of Kuronushi is the deepest and most differing of the Five Kasen. Moreover, Kuronushi lacks a dedicated chapter among the stories. It's as if he is a behind-the-scenes role of the Five Kasen. Perhaps we can assume that every creator had a different understanding of Kuronushi. So, in the same way, I also wanted to leave this character to everyone's own imagination. After all, the Iridori Festival is a place for everyone to express their minds through creative works. His super logical explanation is sure to win everyone's approval. Well, it seems that our adventures at the Iridori Festival have come to a close. <laughs> Are you forgetting something, Paima? Like the person that uh, give us the notes? Huh? What, what are you talking about? Oh. We still haven't figured out who left those stories of the five Kasim for us to find. Really? Come on then, who is it? Tell Paimon! Well, that makes sense. Otherwise, there'd be no way to give the right paper to the right person every time. Right. Even though they were using stories to hint us toward Shincho's troubles, the real goal was to lead us to solve the secrets of the Kaidahara clan. Oh, <gasps> Paimon gets it now. Well, at least Paimon thinks she knows. Let's go! We'll get to the bottom of this. Okay, before that, I'm gonna do... Yeah. Yeah. Oh. 
Huh, I thought this is Albert. Oh, hello. What are you doing here? Ayato! You're the one behind the stories of the five cousins! But don't you think you overdid it a little? Leaving all your friends on a wild hunt like that? <laughs> As it just so happens, one of the reasons I'm here today is to explain the details behind this... wild hunt. Huh. Paimon wants to see how you'll explain yourself out of this one. So, wait, you was him? Really? Okay, there was no clue. Okay, just five seconds ago, the travelers say those things, but... There was no... In the case, I mean, we actually see the feet of the perpetrator, but... I'm kind of confused now, because you're trying to be this mystery event. But you don't give us any kind of clue to actually solve us this before. First of all, the start of this whole incident was due to mere happenstance. You see... Lady Yai happened to catch sight of Xingqiu and the editor carrying the books away one night. She thought it was interesting, so she asked me to tease them a bit. Tease them and Yai Miko, in the same sentence, said by the person she kinda hates, or they don't get along very well with each other. Huh? So it was Miko after all! He was Miko all along. That's right. But using the story of the five Kassen to guide you to the Kaidahara family's secrets was my personal touch. As for my roundabout approach, well, that was something which I had no choice but to do. Yes. Due to a certain incident that occurred earlier, I happened to notice the bonsai plants left behind by Kaidahara Yoshinori, as well as the blank papers hidden inside. I knew there was more than meets the eye regarding those papers, but it took me some time to figure out the secret behind the ink, the kind that would only appear when exposed to water. What Kaedehara Yoshinori said in the letter is very important for both the Kamisato clan and the descendants of the Kaedehara clan, especially Kazuha. The Kaedehara clan used to be subordinates of the Kamisato clan. It was my ancestors who were unable to protect them all those years ago. So, now, this obligation fell on my shoulders. Although he has the right to know the truth, the closer he draws to things hidden out of sight, the closer he also draws to danger. I had to confirm whether Kazuha has both the will and ability to be privy to the truth. Of course, I could outright tell him the truth that I had discovered, but maybe he doesn't have the will that's required. In that case, the truth would only become a burden to him. If he lacks the ability, then he wouldn't be able to find the truth in the first place. In which case, it would be better to keep him away from danger altogether. Kaidehara Yoshinori left his message in a roundabout way precisely for this reason. For a long time, I yearned for a suitable opportunity to convey this matter. Right up until the night when a Legend of Sword was smuggled away. Oh, Paimon gets it now. Yeah, it wasn't only Kazuha. You brought all of the rest of us into this plan of yours. <laughs> I figured you would ask this question eventually. I merely saw that this matter would be of value to you. And more importantly, I hoped that while Kazuha and Ayaka were looking for the answers together, they would have some reliable friends by their side. Reliable friends who would be willing to protect them and make measured decisions. Friends who would spare no effort to lend a helping hand in times of trouble. Okay, we can can kind of understand about the rest. There were complete strays before this event. Right. Okay, this is kind of confusing. Maybe I'm overlooking too much. Because it is also very likely that you will face the same enemy together in the future. You already know the answer deep down inside, don't you? The answer is actually hidden in the portrait of Kuronushi. When there is no one else near the portrait, you can confirm with your own eyes. 
As for the means of revealing that answer, well, you have used it many times before. Okay, I didn't expect Ayato to be the culprit. I thought he was healed just for like extra lying or something. I mean, I just saw Kazuha heal. But let's time travel. It's getting pretty late, so nobody else is around now. So Ayato must have been telling us to splash water on the portrait, right? I knew it. I don't, I don't. I don't. I think they're gonna answer this, but I'm really curious. How in the world did Albedo know this guy? So he was the one behind the trouble all those years ago. When there is no one else near the portrait, you can confirm with your own eyes. As for the means of revealing that answer, well, you have used it many times before. Also, there's one last thing that we must discuss. I mentioned earlier that the occurrence of a certain incident made me notice the bonsai plants. I wish to tell you of that incident now. It was just after the Shogun announced the abolition of the Sokoku Decree. I heard that something had happened at the Tenryo Commission. They had discovered signs that someone had entered the warehouse storing the Commission's articles of evidence and confiscated items. But nothing was stolen. I felt something unusual about that incident, so I told Kujo Sara of the Tenryo Commission to treat it as if nothing happened. She was not to increase the guard or relocate the warehouse contents. In the meantime, I sent a member of the Shumatsuban to keep watch over the warehouse. And sure enough, someone was sneaking in and rummaging through the belongings of the Kaidahara clan. You mean... I let him search for a while, but in the end, he found nothing. Soon after, he had to leave Inazuma by boat. Why didn't you send someone to catch him? <laughs> the best way to protect a secret is to treat it as if it doesn't exist, is it not? Besides, the identity of this person is not hard to guess. Okay, but if he already left the air, how in the world did I better? knew how to pay him. After he left Inazuma, I carefully checked the Kaidahara clan's belongings one by one, and eventually discovered the papers in the hidden compartment of the flower pot. I am certain that the papers are the secret which the infiltrator sought to find, though he couldn't confirm whether this secret existed at all. Okay, I think I may uh, kind of get the, the Baradil story. If we, we that's gonna be in the Alcan quest or the event quest. He's looking for this sword to use it as a weapon against Bor. I kind of feel that's gonna be in her part three chapter, or maybe Baladir gonna have his own event, or Alk and Alk. Who knows? So now on to my final question: Which part of Kaidahara Yoshinori's experiences was the secret that needed to be protected? <laughs> I don't have an answer to this question at present, so I'll leave it to your future self. As for now, please enjoy yourselves at the Iridori Festival. Yo, you don't have a event? Okay, I have to do this later. Although it still doesn't explain how Albedo paid him, like... Okay, I guess he's maybe 
an NPC kind of looks like him. But how did you... Yeah, I wonder. No, I cannot. Oh, wait a minute. Are you kidding me? He asked you what? Let me... Wait, did I actually... Ooh, I wonder if the furnace can do that. Let me try this. Okay, this is cool. This is like the this tiny data that can actually make a game great. Okay, I'm gonna stop this. So this was the final act of this quest. Can you stop look at uh, him? So yeah, somehow the Banadil, although he was long gone again. I guess this was all. We have the side story now. So see you soon. Aloha.